In this video, I want to go over a couple of things. Number one, I want to take a look at transparency in images and you can see how it impacts the page layout. When I'm talking about transparency in images, I'm talking about transparent uh, GIFs with transparent backgrounds or PNGs. Anyway, once we get into it, you'll see what I mean. And I also want to go over the cascade in cascading style sheets. CSS is, of course, short for cascading style sheets. I'm going to help you understand the cascading aspect of it and how this will impact your design work. So let's start off by looking at our center aligned page that we've been building. Now, if we look at a reading man image here. We can see that the white background here is uh, it's not the best thing. It would be kind of neat if the reading man didn't have this white background. And that's a bit of a hassle. So this is probably a JPEG, but let me confirm that. Let me open up the... Uh, the images, reading man, see, no, reading man is a PNG, but I did not give it a transparent background because we see this white here. Let's swap that out for another image. So we're going to, I know that the video wheel actually does have a transparent background. So all I have to do is go into the properties panel down here and the source, now that I got, you know, I, I selected this reading man here image. So this SRC, this is short for source field here. This basically points to whatever image you have embedded in the page. So I'm just going to use the point to file wheel here. And I'm going to go right and select the video wheel. Let's see what happens. So here it is. Let me save that. Of course, this has a transparency, but not a great transparency because you can see the white edging here. I wonder if I have a truly transparent image. Well, I did with the backdrop, but uh, this is not the best. So what we're going to do is I'm going to create an image to fit in here. Let me just save this. Let me uh, preview this now. So it's not the best, right? It is it is transparent because you see there's no white all around here, but there's some white here. So that's, that's just me being sloppy when I created this image. What I'm going to do now is pop open an image editor I like to use, and you don't have to use this one. This is an image editor that a lot of people don't use. It's not the most popular, but on Windows, in my opinion, it's the best one out there for simple images. Nonetheless, it's a great program to demo when I want to demo. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create an irregular shape, like a, a triangle, and I'll give it a, a gradient fill. Let's say we're going to go from... Uh, I'll go from orange to, to black. So I can adjust it. Maybe not black, maybe orange to uh, maybe uh, an off green or something like this. Okay, it's not, it's not the most beautiful. But it's going to give us an irregular shape. So I'm going to save this as two things. First, I'm going to save it, export it as a JPEG. I'll export it as a GIF. So I'm going to call it a Triangle. GIF, whatever image editor you decide to use, whether it be Illustrator or Corel Photo Paint or Photoshop, the tools, although they're going to look different from this, the principles are the same. Now, when I'm creating a GIF, GIF export, I want to make sure it's transparent. See, if you look at my mouse, it says make background transparent. So I'm going to say yes. So now all this area around here is going to be transparent. You'll see what I mean when I export it. So I'm just going to export that. And for demo's sake, I'm going to export it again, but I'm going to export it as a JPEG. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because JPEGs do not, that file format does not allow for, or as nerds would say, does not support transparent backgrounds. So I want you to see what it looks like without a, trans, uh, without a transparent background. So you can see the difference in the image types. So I've exported that as well. So let's take a look at our page. Now let's go into Dreamweaver here. I'm going to refresh this. So here are our new images, the two triangles we created. First of all, 
I'm going to put in the transparent triangle, which is the GIF, the GIF file, or GIF file, depending on who you're talking to. Again, I'm going to go down in the properties panel. And I'm going to select the SRC source wheel, and I'm just going to select triangle GIF. And we get an error. I know why we're getting an error. I'll fix that right now. As you can see, I fixed the error. It had to do with um, the way I set up the recording system here. So, so anyway, here's the image. This is a transparent GIF. Now, let me save the page. I'm going to preview this. Now, as you can see, even though the, the image is irregular, you see that the background shows through. You don't see no white block. Now, let me swap that up with a JPEG. Remember, it's the same exact image, but now I'm going to select the JPEG here. I'll save that. And as you can see with the JPEG, the image no longer has a transparent background, as you can see here, right? All the white, just like the reading man. So that's the reason why I'm going to select it again, transparent triangle, just a GIF. Save that. That's why you want transparent images, transparent GIFs, so that and PNGs, because you would want this kind of seamless integration of your images into your pages if you have a different colored background. This only becomes important if you have an image that's shaped in, a, in, an, in an irregular manner and it has a, it is, it's not a square. If we had a square, for instance, which one is a square? Uh, sunset this is a JPEG because it's a square image even though it JPEGs don't su support a background a transparent background you're fine because as you can see here uh, you don't need one so keep that in mind that's why you want transparent images so you can do the over well transparent backgrounds I keep saying transparent image but it's transparent background so that you can overlay images that have irregular shapes in your pages so that the uh, you don't have that, that ugly white border. Right here, this is a GIF because it has a transparent GIF, as you recall, we created. So we don't have that ugly white block here. But the same exact image saves as a JPEG, where JPEG, the file type, JPEG, JPEG is, you know, JPG is short for JPEG. J PG is short for JPEG, so you get that now. I think it's understood. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna put it to sunset because it just looks a little bit better. So there you go. We understand the importance of transparent backgrounds and how they play a role in things.